A total of 3,686 candidates, including 185 women in the Ashanti region, have filed their nominations to contest in the district assembly's elections scheduled for early March this year. The Ashanti Regional Director of the Electoral Commission, Mr. Paul Boatin, in an interview said the candidate contesting for the Mancro electoral area in Kumasi has been disqualified for using the membership card of one of the major political parties for his campaign. In less than two months, the Electoral Commission of Ghana will supervise the election of new assembly members and unit committees in accordance with Act 473 of the Constitution. In the Ashanti region, more than 3,000 candidates, including 185 women, are contesting for the 1,058 seats available. The same electoral area in the Kumasi metropolis has the highest number of candidates of nine, while 32 of the electoral areas have candidates contesting unopposed, and therefore no elections will be conducted in these areas. For the unit committees, 8,187 persons have completed their nominations to contest in the 1,058 units. Campaigns for the election have picked by almost all the candidates. There are posters of candidates pasted on every available space within the various municipalities. In an interview with GBC24, the Ashanti Regional Director of the Electoral Commission, Mr. Paul Barton, said the commission is on course with preparations towards a peaceful and successful district-level elections. We have a series of uh, activities. We have um, TOT on election procedures, distribution and placing of notice of poll, technical training on BVDs for, for all the election officials, that is name reference, like the officers and the verification officers. After that, we are going to mount, do platform mounting, uh, and then introduce the uh, candidates to the public before the polling day. In line with preparations towards the elections, the Electoral Commission, with support from the USAID, has organized a capacity training workshop for selected media practitioners on the laws regulating the district-level elections. The objective is to empower the participants to adequately inform the electorate on the electoral processes for them to make informed choices during the elections. The Director of Elections at the EC, Mr. Samuel Tete, said the Electoral Commission will provide two biometric verification devices at each polling center. When we come to the DC level elections, we find out that the enthusiasm is not like that of the presidential and parliamentary elections. And uh, the Commission deemed it fit to engage the media on this aspect to, in one way or the other, whip up enthusiasm for this particular upcoming 2015 busy level election. The Executive Secretary of the National Media Commission, Mr. George Sapon, challenged media practitioners to critically evaluate the motives of persons who try to discredit the electoral system.